You're listening to the Below the Yellow Line podcast from Hello, everybody. This is probably going to be a shorter episode of the podcast, but it's probably coming out in the wee hours of Saturday morning, so that's probably not a bad thing. Today, we're just going to be doing a short little preview of Phoenix. I meant to have this out last night, but uh, it corresponds with the YouTube pre-race show going out, so kind of hand-in-hand hand there. I'm going to talk about practice. I'm going to talk about uh, my poll and win picks uh, for this weekend's what is it? United Rental Works 500. United Rentals Works 500. Interesting race name. We have a new studio. You guys won't be able to see it um, on the podcast. Uh, you will be able to see it on the YouTube channel, the Spider Stand, and all the videos. Um, so go check the channel out so you can see the studio because it's really, really cool. My awesome mom helped. Um, put that together let's take a look at practice we did have practice today 50 minutes to test the new aero package out kyle larson topped the charts ryan blaney right behind him emily picked ryan or sorry kyle larson to win if denny hamlin for whatever reason uh couldn't um then my favorite driver alex bowman or one of my favorite drivers alex bowman uh third on the chart his home track he's only gotten one top 10 here ever and it was back in 2016. Uh, Kyle Larson ran the most laps out of anybody. And am I right? Did I see somebody with 60-something laps? Let me see here. Yeah, that's right. 59. He ran 59 laps. So did Kevin Harvick. Uh, so this guy's getting a lot of practice time. Joe Villagano, the guy who won here in the fall to win the championship, was fourth Fifth was Chase Briscoe, who won this race, the spring race last year. Sixth, Brad Keselowski. Seventh, Daytona 500 winner, Ricky Stenhouse, who needs a good run. Harrison Burton, eighth. Kevin Harvick, ninth. Our Eric Umbrella, tenth. We talked about Stuart Haas' struggles in practice. Three cars in the top ten with nine-time Phoenix winner Kevin Harvick in ninth. In the blue ovals with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars in the top ten. Eleventh was A.J. Allmendinger. Eighth was Busher. Or sorry, 12th was Busher, so 8 of the 12, or the first 12, Fords, 2 thirds of the top 12 on the charts are all blue ovals. Daniel Suarez, 13th, Corey LaJoy, 14th, Austin Dillon, 15th, Bubba, 16th, but like Bowman, uh, it's Bowman's and McDowell's home track, and they've never, they've both never really been great there, um, but Bubba and Bowman, my two favorite drivers, each only one top 10 uh, at this track as full-time drivers, um, or no, wait. This Bowman's just in 2016. I don't remember, honestly. Truex was 17th. Uh, he won here in 2021. Uh, Cindric, 18th. Denny Hamlin, 19th. Emily's favorite driver, 20th, was William Byron, 21st. St. Smith, and 38th. Because remember, uh, Todd Gillen booted down to the 15th for this weekend. Um, 22nd, Tyler Reddick. They really need a good run. Uh, Josh Berry in 23rd in the second week filling in this time. He actually knows he's doing it before Friday. Chris Ravel 24th. Noah Gregson 25th. Ross Chastain 26th. I know it's new aero package, but still, they were second in the spring last year, third in the fall. A little surprising to see them unload with such little speed. Eric Jones 27th. Ty Gibbs won the Xfinity race here in the fall. And I believe he was top five in the spring, uh, 28th. Kyle Busch 29th. That's surprising. He's won here both before in Xfinity and Cup. Um, I would think Kyle Busch would have more speed. Michael McDowell, the other hometown, hometown guy, 30th. Todd Gilland, 31st in the 15th. Ryan Priest, the only SHR car not in the top 10 in 32nd. Justin Haley, 33rd. Ty Dillon, 34th. Cody Ware, 35th. And BJ McLeod, 35th. Rest of the weekend schedule is as follows. Qualifying's tomorrow at 2 Eastern, or I guess today, depending on when you listen to this. Um, March 11th, 2 o'clock Eastern Time, FS1 and MRN qualifying 3.30 Eastern, uh, the race 3.30 Eastern Sunday um, on Fox, MRN, and Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Phoenix, a one-mile track weather looking like it's in the 80s. Caution and pit speed at 50 miles an hour. One thing that we did not do in the YouTube pre-day show that I'm going to do now is look at the playoff standings. Now, Stenhouse, Kyle Busch, 
and Byron, obviously all locked in with their wins. Um, Ross Chastain, currently the regular season points leader. He's 60 above the cut line. Bowman, 57 above it. Harvick, 39 above it. Suarez, 35 above it. Truex, 33 above the cut line. Hamlin at plus 30. Bell, plus 25. Logano, plus 23. Busher and Kozlowski, plus 21 and 18, respectively. RFK, off to a good start. Kyle Larson, plus 16. Uh, Ryan Blaney, plus 12. And Bubba Wallace, plus 0. Austin Sindrick. Uh, minus zero. Corey LaJoy, minus one. They're the first two guys out. Almondinger, 15 back. Ty Gibbs, 16 back. Almarola, 17 back. Michael McDowell, 17 back. Haley, 19 back. Burton, 23 back. Dylan, Austin Dillon, 27 back. Todd Gillen, 28 back. Eric Jones, 32 back. Cody Ware, 34 back. As is Noah Gregson in 29th. Ryan Priest, 40 back. Briscoe, 41 back. Reddick, 43 back. Not a good start for those three guys. McLeod, 44 back. Gailey, 51 back. Ty Dillon, 59 back. Josh Berry, 69 points back, but he's not, you know, he's not going for this. Chase Elliott, not on here. They applied for a waiver. They will likely get it. Manufacturer standing, Chevy Lee's book Toyota and Ford, respectively, uh, by 22 points each. They have three wins to start the year, so it makes sense. As for my poll and win picks, poll pick, I'm going with Bell. I know he was 24th. Oh, sorry about that noise. I know he's 24th on the practice uh, sheets. But um, qualifying speed and, and practice slash race speed don't always correspond. And for the win, Ryan Blaney. I think Ryan Blaney gets a win and, uh, you know, makes Cal Petty kind of eat his words um, from this past week. That's about it. I know, short podcast, short show. I was hoping to get this out, you know, yesterday. Um, fortunately, couldn't do that. A lot of stuff going on. So hopefully the post race Sunday night, Monday morning-ish podcast uh, with Emily gets out. And then we might even have, like, an in-person podcast to do um, next next week. So thank you all for listening uh, on YouTube watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and share if you're on YouTube. If you're on Spotify or another podcast platform, follow, rate, share, all that good stuff. Um... And yeah, we will see you in the next podcast, next video, the Spotter Stand YouTube channel. Go check it out. Um, I'm Samuel Sud from the Below the Align podcast. This was episode 10, Phoenix Preview. Thank you all for listening. Goodbye.